Hi, I'm Sundata, yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Software Package Series. Today we are on our lecture number 10, week 5. Our topic for today is about plan a chart, create a chart, and move and resize a chart. To plan a chart, there is a what you call guidelines. First, determine the purpose of the chart. Second, identify the data relationship you want to communicate graphically because if there is no data, there is no chart. Number three, determine results you want to see. Check out if it is uh, connected to each other. Decide which chart type is most appropriate. Look at the design of the chart if it is exactly on the data itself. Identify the worksheet data you want the chart to illustrate. So, it could be possible to put other elements of the, the chart to identify all of them and understand the elements of a chart. So, you must enumerate the elements and all of the elements must be put up into your plan chart. Let's move on to chart elements. The horizontal axis, x-axis, is also called the category axis. The vertical axis is also called the value axis. The z-axis is present in 3D charts. And the area inside the horizontal and vertical axis is called the plot area. The scale of measure on the y-axis is identified by a tick marks. A thick heavy bold mark. A legend makes it easy to identify each data series. And a data point is the value in a cell you select for your chart. It means to say the, the data that, that you've been selected is the one or going to appear on the chart. And another, we have a data marker visually represents each data point in the chart. And the last, a group of related data points is a data series. Now here is figure 40 shows an image of chart elements. There's a what do you call the chart area. So the chart area is all of the edges or all parts of the chart. Next we have the plot area which identifies the figure the chart title the name of the chart then data series data it identifies the the data being selected so this is considered to be different data we have the grid lines to identify the remarks or vertical axis title we have the legend with different colors and different dates the horizontal axis the horizontal axis title as customer and the vertical axis and we have here the vertical axis title now in figure 41 shows an image of common chart types so you can look at this chart of which do you think you prefer is the best chart in your data specifically if you are doing such uh, thesis Okay, it is very needed. So, to us, waterfall model is very popular. So, let's move on to the second topic we have, create a chart. To create a chart, you need to select a range of data. Use buttons on the insert tab of the ribbon to create and modify a chart. Sizing handles indicates that the chart is selected. An embedded chart is one that is inserted directly in the current worksheet. A chart sheet is a sheet in a workbook that contains only a chart which is linked to the workbook data. And in figure 41 shows an image of clustered column chart. So if you notice, this is what you call clustered bar identification. It could be in 2D or it could be in 3D. That is the cluster bar. And uh, you will notice also the data right here. And we have the interpretation of the data, which is considered to be a chart. Now, let's move on to the last topic, move and resize a chart. 
To move and resize a chart, an object is an independent element in a worksheet. It meant to say, everything inside the chart area, you can manage and modify them, or you can format them. So moving a chart object does not affect formulas or data. Resize a chart by dragging its sizing handles, and the last move a chart by dragging the chart itself to the position which suited the chart will be classified. So in figure 43 shows an image of move and resize chart. So this one, there's a what do you call the handle, there's a what do you call the move cursor, and there's what do you call the outline of chart being moved. That is how the chart has been moved so that you can arrange it more specific to make your presentation more abundantly. Congratulations, you successfully finished our lecture number 10. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and good luck.